What are some of the fastest and proven ways to scale your Google Ads campaigns without ruining optimization? In this video, we're going to be covering different strategies as to how you can really take your Google Ads campaigns to the next level and continuously increase the revenue for your e-commerce store while adding a lot of profits to the back end. But before we do that, if this is one of the first times you're watching one of my videos, I'm Shuri Kanase, the founder of Yoro Marketing, a Google Ads marketing agency but you also want to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below because i post videos like these every single day but let's get right into it so exactly what are some of the fastest and proven ways to scale your google ads campaigns we're going to be going over different strategies within this video but let's start off with strategy number one and that is a very simple strategy i have really started using more and more in 2022 which is basically putting all of your winning products and for the sake of this video we're gonna assume you already have some winning products within your standard shopping campaigns or smart shopping campaigns whatever the case may be if you don't go ahead and watch some of my other videos or my google ads playlist and follow the strategy step by step to get to this level because this video is all about scaling but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of those winning products which you already have and we're gonna shove them inside one smart shopping campaign and i'm gonna show you on my screen right over here one google ads account which is actually my client's account which i handle ads for under my google ads agency but we have been able to do exactly that for this account so originally what this account had was a lot of different kinds of campaigns running before we really came into this account and before we really started handling ads for this account now we have been handling ads for this account since about november so this account has been doing well since then but before we really came on this account was running a lot of different kinds of shopping campaigns as you can see the row has increased when we came on but right over here is when the account owner was handling the ads themselves if we rank by the cost, we will see that there were a lot of different campaigns running with really no strategy behind them. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of these campaigns, which this account had running. So these are actually for the products which this store sells. These were different kinds of standard shopping campaigns for different kinds of products that are kind of similar to each other. But the first thing we did back then and which we have continued to do even this year as well is to rank by the conversion value over cost to see really which shopping campaigns are getting the most kinds of results and as you guys can see right over here this was a shopping campaign not a lot of sales but it got four sales and there were also other shopping campaigns like this one right here this one and this one which were all testing campaigns what you need to do in order to implement this strategy is you need to have another standard shopping campaign or a smart shopping campaign running and have at least about 50 conversions on there because without really 50 conversions on the whole campaign you won't be able to scale much further but of course individually if you look at the products you do want about three to five sales per product and that is exactly what these campaigns had as you can see none of them really had besides this campaign right here over 50 sales but they did have individual products getting a decent amount of sales per product so what we did is i came in i looked at all of the products which were selling well meaning over three to five sales i made a list of all of the item ids because then i went ahead and created a brand new campaign named it a smart shopping campaign for the winning products only and this is very important which you want to keep in mind for this scaling strategy and that is do not launch a standard shopping campaign for this scaling strategy you only want to be launching a smart shopping campaign and there is a reason why because if you kind of consider as to what is happening with google ads recently you will find out that google in the recent months in the recent year even has been kind of leaning more towards the smart route there's a reason why performance max campaigns have come out there's a reason why they are basically pushing smart campaigns so much and that is because Google now wants a lot of the control as to how your campaign performs, how your campaign is even shown to the audience, who it is shown to, etc. And it's no bad idea to sh give Google this control because in reality, Google is very smart, especially when you get to that level where you have a decent amount of conversions. And that is exactly what happened in this case. We went ahead and launched those winning products with three to five sales or more inside one smart shopping campaign. And that is the main strategy for scaling in 2022 and we're gonna go over that smart shopping campaign which we have launched right over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually change the time period now and just look at the last 14 days because this is when that smart shopping campaign has really been shining so it is this specific smart shopping campaign right over here running for the us only now
now there's a lot of other smart shopping campaigns which we'll go over shortly not necessarily just for the us but this smart shopping campaign is for the us running at a very profitable roas because a 2.67 is extremely profitable for this brand the break even is around a 1.95 and we're running at a 2.67 the time period before we actually started handling ads for this account the roas was at a 1.5 so it was not even at break but that is exactly what this campaign is right over here and this second campaign is an extension to this first campaign and that is also part of this strategy so once you have launched this smart shopping campaign with those products you want to let it run at a decent budget about a fifty dollars to a hundred dollars a day budget obviously because this is a scaling campaign you don't want to be cheap in this case so once you have it running for about seven days you have enough data you will start to see that despite winners being inside this campaign there are still products which are just not performing and these products you want to launch inside another campaign which is going to be an extension of that first smart shopping campaign but this this second campaign should be a standard shopping campaign. So to illustrate this, I'm going to have two different campaigns on the screen right over here. So as you can see, this top campaign is a standard shopping campaign. The second campaign on the bottom is actually a smart campaign containing all of the winning products. And if you guys look at the ROAS, it's absolutely incredible what is happening here. So the winning campaign, which is supposed to be doing the absolute best because it is the campaign, the smart campaign with the most amount of winning products is at a 2.64 ROAS. However, the second extension campaign, which is a standard shopping campaign with all of the products that did not perform inside this winning smart campaign is actually running at a much more profitable ROAS. So as you guys can see, this method is the best method you can really be using in order to scale your campaigns with Google ads in 2022 and onwards, because not only does this let you really diversify those products out into their own campaigns, branch them out into their own winning smart campaign, but also those winning products, which end up being losing products inside the smart campaign, now have a second chance inside the standard shopping campaign. So this is the main strategy of 2022. Basically have an original campaign where you are testing all those winning products. You are figuring out exactly what your winning products are and then going out and launching one smart campaign first with all of those winning products that have over three sales or so. Then after a week launching the second chance, as I like to call it, campaign which is going to be again a standard campaign running at a bit of around 40 cents to 50 cents usd so this first strategy is the two campaign setup as i like to call it again campaign number one smart campaign then campaign two which is following the first campaign about a week later a standard shopping campaign but this brings me to my next strategy for scaling and that is continuing on with the standalone campaigns. Now, for those of you that don't know what a standalone campaign is, a standalone campaign is basically a campaign for its own product. So there will only be one single product in there. This is a strategy which I used to use heavily previously in the previous years. However, there's a little bit of a difference to this. Now, here is how this strategy works. Assuming you already have multiple different winning products, what you want to do is per winning product, go ahead and launch its own standalone campaign at a bid that is about five cents or so higher than what the bid is within that original standard shopping campaign or smart campaign where you're testing that product. So if it's 40 cents, launch this new standalone campaign at around 45 cents. But here you want to be choosing manual CPC with enhanced CPC. And assuming you have over three sales, this is the ideal way to go. Now, here is where the change really comes. Once you launch this campaign, you want to let it run. But from now on, any new winning product that has any kind of similarity to this original winning product. So maybe it's in the same niche. Maybe it's the same profit margin, whatever the case may be, any kind of similarity you want to put that winning product inside this standalone campaign as well. So instead of just being it for one product, now we will have two products and you will continue this process over and over again for all your future winning product. What this is going to do is that it's going to make Google's life easier when it comes to scaling your campaign because now you have multiple different products 
all with the one kind of similarity all grouped up together. So Google is going to use this data as a whole to then find the right audience for you to find the right bids and so forth. So this is one of the best ways to scale in 2022. Just again, put all those winning products inside of one campaign, but start off with a single product campaign. Just put that one initial product and that is performing the best and just let it run and gather data. But now, this campaign strategy also has two steps to it. The second step is after about one week of running this campaign, you want to now go and start a smart campaign for the single product standard campaign. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? In the first strategy, we went ahead and started a smart campaign right from the get go. But in the second strategy, we're starting a standard shopping campaign and we're gonna be putting multiple different products in there. Obviously, not every product within the standard campaign is going to work, is going to be a winner. So what do you do instead? Instead, whatever product is not really performing, not really reaching the KPIs that you want, or you're just not able to scale it, you're gonna transfer this product from this single product campaign into a brand new smart campaign. And this smart campaign will have the target ROAS box unchecked, but it will be a second chance testing campaign for this strategy. So just like we did with campaign strategy number one, where we had the second campaign running, which was just the standard campaign. In this case, this is going to be a smart campaign, not a standard shopping campaign. So that is really the only difference to this. And we are going to sort of create a funnel with these campaigns. So number one step of this funnel is that original general testing campaign, which you may have already got going on where you're finding these winning products. Step number two of the funnel is either the smart campaign or the standard shopping campaign, depending on which route you decide to go to. If you decide to go with the first strategy, which is this directly smart campaign, then step three of this funnel will be a standard campaign. But if you decide to go with strategy two, which is a single product standard shopping campaign, then step three of this funnel will be a smart campaign. So all of these things have been mentioned on the screen to make it a bit easier for you to understand. Just keep things simple. Don't try to overcomplicate this. Just think of this as a funnel where you get to decide between these two strategies, which way you want to go. And I highly recommend you try out both of these strategies for different kinds of products within your store to really figure out which strategy your account is performing with the best. Now for this account, which I have on my screen, smart campaigns were absolutely crushing it. That is one reason why we decided to go with strategy one instead of strategy two, because again, smart campaigns are just doing well. But just relying on one country with these standard shopping campaigns, with these smart campaigns, is not really the ideal way to go in 2022 and onwards if you wanna really take your e-commerce brand to the next level. And that is where strategy number three comes into play. This is basically selling to different countries exactly what we are doing right over here. So this first campaign is selling to Canada only right over here. The second campaign, which I've chosen is selling to the US only. This third campaign, which I have chosen on my screen is selling to Australia only. So as you see, three different campaigns, all targeting different countries and the results are very, very similar to each other. All profitable results for this brand. That is one reason why we are able to scale this brand very aggressively in the recent time period. And the reality is we would not have been able to do this had this account been only targeting the US because with the US, as you can see, there are a decent amount of sales, but we would have missed out on over 30 different sales counting Australia as well as Canada. And this is not counting all the other campaigns which we have running, testing out different things. So to really take your e-commerce brand to the next level, regardless of whether you're drop shipping or whether you're running an actual brand, you want to think about expanding your market to the different countries, especially if you have the means to do so. Just go ahead and launch those shopping campaigns for these different countries. If you have a lot of data, I highly recommend you go the smart campaign route. Again, all of these different campaigns for these different countries are via smart campaigns. We just like to give Google more control nowadays because that is just what is working the best. But any scaling strategy is basically incomplete without search campaigns in the play. And I'm gonna be choosing on my screen the different search campaigns which we currently have running. So the first two campaigns which I've chosen on my screen are all branded search campaigns. Both of these, as you can see, that is one reason why the first campaign has a 202 return on ad spend. The second one has an 18X return on ad spend. But this third 
campaign right over here is a search campaign and if we go ahead and change the time period just a bit to this month we will be able to get a better idea of how this search campaign that is targeting cold traffic only is performing so we are currently getting a 4.34 ROAS for the entire month for this campaign with five sales at a 93 euro ad spend so of course if you look at it at a 14 day period at a seven day period there are going to be fluctuations but looking at the data which you should always be doing by the way with at a greater scale so 30 days or the month entirely you'll be able to get a better idea of as to how the campaign is actually performing and here this campaign is extremely profitable just a full-on search campaign by the way i will be releasing a full google ads free course on how to create search campaigns campaign so you can get results like these very shortly another reason why you should smash that subscribe button down below but extremely profitable ROAS right over here five sales so far and this campaign is going to continue spending money but be sure to add search campaigns to your arsenal of different standard shopping campaigns as well as smart shopping campaigns just to kind of capture that search impression share on the search platform and get those extra sales coming in from Google search ads. But that is pretty much it for the different kinds of scaling strategies. Be sure to implement all of these together, kind of mix and match the scaling strategies because at the end of the day, that is how you should be scaling your e-commerce brand. But if you found any type of value in this video, destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.